Greetings everyone. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for October 8 through to October 12. It's been extremely quiet in terms of seismic activities for the month of October, but solar activities have remained very busy with significant solar disturbances, a sun grazing or sun diving comet, and also an abundance of coronal mass ejections exiting the solar corona. I believe that with the latest G1 class geomagnetic storm, seismic activities will step up and I believe there is a possibility of a 7.6 magnitude earthquake for this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE and we're going to see a significant change on this surface over the last 24 hours and this is due to the impact of a coronal mass ejection on the Earth's magnetic field. Solar wind speeds move from 350 to 500 km a second quite rapidly but the main area of concern is solar wind density which is currently at 12 protons per cubic centimetres which are extremely high levels. It's also a big issue with the interplanetary magnetic field. It's also copying quite a pounding. Now I'm expecting we may receive a similar effect on October 8 or October 9 when I'm expecting a coronal mass ejection to also hit the Earth's magnetic field. Now looking at the latest coronal hole information via Solon.info and there is a significant feature on the solar corona and that's classified as CH478. Now this is growing and it is extending down towards the equator. Now this will be the main area of focus for my watch. There's also another region at high latitudes, high up in the northern hemisphere, which may also produce an event. But the main area of focus will be this coronal hole region that will be in the earth facing position in approximately two to three days time. Now looking at a split screen of the SDO composite and also the XRT and focusing on this coronal hole region. Now I have isolated 18 to 24 degrees north latitude as a main area of concern for this watch. And there are two regions within this coronal hole that I will target and plot right now. I've mapped this coronal hole to Earth and the best fit regions I feel for a significant event could be the regions of Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, stretching up towards the Cuban region. This will be the number one areas of concern for my watch. And my second area of concern is for the Ryukyu Islands Japan region, stretching down towards the top portion of Taiwan. These will be the most likely regions that may be affected by a significant earthquake based on solar symmetry to Earth. Now looking at the Northern Hemisphere with the 193 Angstrom and Solar Monitor and I'm going to be looking at another region I feel could produce another earthquake at higher latitudes. There is a feature in the solar corona that has opened up over the last 48 hours and that's sitting at 46 to 50 degrees north latitude and this could represent an event for the off the coast Oregon region or the region of Vancouver Island for a possible 5.5 to 5.8 magnitude earthquake. And the second area of concern for this latitude could be in Europe or more specifically the regions of northern Italy or Switzerland. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that could be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures. And the main areas we're focusing on are shaded in darkish green. And the main readings showing up this week are Guam, East Asia, Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia, the Vancouver Islands in Canada, also some readings in the Atlantic Ocean towards the Azores and also above in Iceland. These will be the main readings of concern. We also have a large reading up towards the Kermatic Islands stretching in towards the east coast of Australia. These are the main readings of concern. We continue to see some significant readings showing up in the real-time ionospheric map which is of concern. Now this data service has proven itself to be extremely accurate in terms of volcanic activity and also major earthquakes with major readings showing up over the last few months above the Krakatau region north of India which has proven itself with a major earthquake in Sikkim and we also have readings above in Mexico and Puerto Rico and new readings showing up in Chile. Now these would be the new regions I'll be keeping a close notice of for the coming months as we may see some significant volcanic activity or a major earthquake. And that's my Volcano and Earthquake Watch for October 6, 2011. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. And for more information, please visit my blog at solarwatcher.net. Thanks for watching.